In this video, we will look at three types of note duration. The crotchet, the minim, and the semibrief. Don't let the name scare you. The concept is much easier than the name. We use the term duration to describe how long a note is held for. But we don't measure this in seconds, but rather in pulses or beats. For example, we might have one note which is held for one beat, or we might have another note which is held for four beats. But it'd be very difficult to tell the difference unless we had a reference point, and that reference point is our pulse or our beat. We use the word tempo, or BPM, beats per minute, to describe how fast that pulse is going. In another video, we'll discuss the topic of time signatures. That develops this idea further, but it's unnecessary to understand those at this point. In all of the mechanics of music videos, we'll make use of both the traditional and contemporary naming conventions for note durations. Both are commonly used and pretty much understood by all musicians. Let's hear a few examples. What you can hear now is the pulse. Let's add a note with a one beat duration. Notice that there's a gap or a rest as we know it in music, between each one of the repetitions. Also notice that each note lasts exactly from the start of one beat and finishes just before the start of the next beat. This is a one beat note, traditionally known as a crotchet, or in contemporary music known as a quarter note. The rest between each sounding note also gets its own special symbol, depending on the duration of the note. In this case, it's this squiggly line, that's a crotchet or a quarter beat rest. Let's look at how we write a two beat note. Let's start the pulse again. Notice how this time the duration of the note is for two pulses or two beats. Traditionally, this is known as a minim, or in contemporary music, it's known as a half note. And it also has its own unique looking rest symbol. Let's look at how we write a four beat note. Let's hear the pulse. Notice how this time the duration of the note lasts for four pulses or four beats. Traditionally, this note is known as a semibrieve, or in contemporary music, it's known as a whole note. And of course, it has its own special rest symbol. The slightly tricky part is that the minim and the semibrieve rests look very similar. But if you look closely, you'll see that the minim rest is above its line and the semibrieve rest is below its line. Let's see and hear an example that combines these different note and rest durations. Pulse please. Okay, I can't see that getting into the charts, but it's a little example that should help us with reading rest and note durations. You should be able to see that as we combine these different note durations into different orders, this helps to change when we play a note, which is how we write rhythms. In the next video, we'll start looking at quavers and semiquavers, which are shorter note durations, so they play faster rhythms.